American Democrats have very regularly tried to push the narrative that they are the champions of the environment and warriors against the cause of climate change. They insist that they're taking action on climate change and on their official website say things like they vow to take action to eliminate carbon pollution. In Canada, our liberals have said very similar things and in both these countries you may have noticed things like bans on plastic straws or bans on plastic shopping bags or carbon taxes at the gas pump. However, these parties seem to have very little to say about something arguably much more environmentally disastrous, namely the environmental catastrophe that has been exacerbated through war and most recently in Gaza. The Guardian reported a scientific estimate that more than 281,000 tons of carbon dioxide were generated by Israel's aerial and ground attack on Gaza in the first two months of the war alone. This is equivalent to burning at least 150,000 tons of coal. The report stated that this is greater than the annual carbon footprint of more than 20 of the world's most climate vulnerable nations. The water has also been polluted and sewage has been overflowing in the streets. The United Nations Environment Program has been undertaking preliminary analyses of the environmental damage that this war has caused. They estimate that at least 100,000 cubic meters of sewage and wastewater are being dumped daily onto the land in Gaza and into the Mediterranean Sea. The water contamination has exacerbated an already dire drinking water shortage. That is nothing to say of the orchards, olive groves, and farmlands that have been destroyed in this war. Satellite imagery has indicated that there are about 38 to 48 percent of the farmland and tree cover that has been destroyed. And this is again as of late March, so the numbers may be higher now. Environmental organizations stated that this is ecocide and that Gaza's ecosystems and their biodiversity are disastrously impacted and severely threatened. Of course, this is not the first environmentally disastrous war that has been cheered on in the Imperial Corps. But it's something to remember next time you're paying extra at the gas pump or sipping from a melting straw. When it comes to the environment, they can excuse mass destruction of Palestinian land, but they'll draw the line at those plastic straws.